Hi, my name is George Fotonakis and I would like to give you instructions on how to make a speaker system that is non-electronic, is basically free, and will boost your iPhone sound probably about 5 to 10 decibels. I really like this because I like to uh, mount my phone on my bicycle and I can hear it because it projects the sound up into my ears where I'm actually doing my hearing rather than down into the ground. So I'm going to give you some simple instructions and if you have 15 minutes and a few materials you're set to go. Here are the inexpensive materials that you can use to make this speaker system. From the left to the right I have a one gallon milk container that's plastic. Next to it I have the OtterBox Defender Series case and the belt holster that came with it, a good sharp scissors, some fishing line, this is four pound test, it doesn't really matter, a permanent marker, a ruler, and a can of 15 ounce um, canned goods, it doesn't matter the variety, but the size of the can. Now step number one is you're going to find on the milk container two large flat surfaces. You can see on this side there's a flat surface and if I spin it there's a nice flat surface here. The other two sides are indented because of this handle. We're going to use the flat surfaces on the milk containers I got from Costco. They have a very lightly marked circle that's about two and three eighths inches around. I'll check that two and seven eighths. Now if you don't have that marking on there you can use a soup can, uh, any 15 ounce can to make that traceable mark. I would next cut out the flat surfaces of this gallon container so you don't have to be dealing with a object that's hard to manipulate. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out. I'll do that off camera. By the way, if you have trouble penetrating the gallon container with the scissors, you can take and keep the cap on so it's inflated. And you notice right here, I pierced a slit with a steak knife. Now, if you're a younger person, please get adult supervision so you don't hurt yourself on this. I'm going to go ahead off camera now again and cut out the large flat piece of plastic. You can see now that I'm done with the flat cut. I didn't have to worry about being too perfect on this because we're going to clean it up right now. My next step is I'm going to place the soup can in the center of this area and trace a nice circle around it. There it is, my 2 and 7 eighths inch circle. That's the diameter traced onto the plastic. Now our next step is we're going to measure for the insert that we're going to make into the iPhone. Now here's my iPhone with my OtterBox case. I'm going to turn it so I'm down at the bottom of the case and I'll measure and you can see the gap here in the rubber at the bottom is about one and three eighths inches. That might be a little big but it's better to go big than small. So we're going to make now a rectangular tracing coming off of the circle at that 1 and 3 h inch measurement. Here is the completed shape. You notice I have the 1 and 3 h inch tab at the bottom and the two little notches, I'll come a little closer here, on each of the sides of the circle. Now we're ready for the final couple of little steps. Now you're going to want to take the fishing string and make a tiny loop at the end. This one you'll have to experiment with. Um, a loop size about like that. I'm going to take it and twirl it and then I'm going to spin it around and loop through a knot. When I'm done you'll get something that looks like this about that big and what we're going to do with this piece is we're going to take it and we're going to take our piece of plastic and we're going to bend it a little bit and we're going to loop this piece of fishing string in over the top and into the little cuts in there so you'll notice I don't like that knot, it doesn't look too pretty, so I'll put that around on the back side. But what I end up with, as soon as I get this knot around here, is now this is banked and it's tipped like that. The last step is I'm going to take and bend this right about here, right on the line. You can see it's bent and it looks about like that. Now watch what we do with this. We're going to take this and we have 
our player here, I can take it and I'll go ahead and turn it on for a moment and give you a little demo on some sounds from iTunes. Now I'm just going to take this one here. The girls will like this one. I don't want to put it too loud. Now the problem is all your sounds being directed down here into the table and not out towards you. If we take this device and we slip it right here into the base, it fits right underneath the cover and slides in. And when we slide it into place, now it's taking the sound and it's shooting it up at us. I don't know if you notice the difference in sound, but I can crank it up if I'm riding my bicycle. I can take it and I can put it in this nifty little case. Snap it down. And then ride along, and then if I want to increase the sound, let's see. What we have happening here is the sound is being projected down into this plastic area that we made, and then the plastic is reverberating with the vibrations of the sound, and it's kind of um, act actually uh, amplifying a little bit plus it's projecting the sound up into your ears. Uh, have fun with it, see what you end up with, and I think you'll enjoy it. Um, over and out from here.